This year, the Academy's Board of Governors presents its honorary Oscar to a man whose work is vitally important in the history of American film. He was the master of a new kind of psychological and behavioral truth in acting. The work that he did and the actors he used brought a thrilling new reality to the stage and screen. More than anybody, he inspired us. He taught us a new respect for ourselves as actors and the potential power of our professional uh, profession. The passion of his performers matched his passion to explore the suppressed but raging discontents of our civilization. At a time when the prevailing American voice was bland and glib, this poetic realist, this angry romantic, always spoke fervently to our most basic conflicts between races and religions, classes and generations, men and women. Here are just a few moments, both heated and tender, from the lifelong lover's quarrel conducted with his, with his adopted country by a ferociously gifted emigrant named Elia Kazan. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Elia Kazan. I thank you very much. I really like to hear that. And I want to thank the Academy for its courage, generosity. And I want to tell you that I've been a member of the Academy on and off for I don't know how many years. So I'm pleased to say what's best about them. They're damn good to work with. Uh, I also want to thank Marty. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Hiding behind me? Come on. Here. Right behind me. Where's Marty? Right here. Thank you. Thank you. And Bob. And Bob too. And Bobby. Bobby De Niro. Okay. Okay, thank you all very much. I think I can just slip away. <laughs> <laughs>